A security upgrade, Customs and Border Protection is setting up a hub in Port Clinton. The $25 million project is years in the making. Fox Toledo's Allison Brown is on the scene in Port Clinton with how this move is going to help protect you. Yeah, pretty soon here in Port Clinton, border security will be enhanced, and the way it's going to happen is actually pretty unique. One, two, three. Breaking ground, U.S. Customs and Border Protection turned the dirt here in Port Clinton on the upcoming Sandusky Bay Station. It's the first of its kind in the country. For the first time since 1957, we now have a presence uh, in this portion of the country. If there was a need to respond, we have all three entities in one location at one time with all shared equipment, shared resources. That's because field operations, Border Patrol, and the Office of Air and Marine will be in one place. The coverage for this station will start on the west side in Toledo and runs all the way to the, to the Pennsylvania state line. With destination points like Cedar Point and the islands, these guys want to keep illegal activity out. It's number one priority for CBP is obviously the mission against terror. Um, that's our number one threat, but there's a lot of things that the, the public doesn't realize, but you know, we as a law enforcement agency arrest more felons than any other law enforcement agency in the country coming across the border. This is the Midwest, so agriculturally, bugs, and bugs are a big deal. A lot of people don't seem to realize that, but you know, there's certain bugs that could come into the United States that could get into the crops of the Midwest and destroy them. Whatever the problem, the main thing is that these guys will be here. Plans are to open the more than 60,000 square foot building in early 2012. Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.